Hey guys, Intuition Angel here, reading for the sign of Cancer right now, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is doing okay. This is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all Cancers out there. Check your birth chart if it does not resonate. Uh, go ahead and hit that like button down there for me, please, and thank you if it does. You guys can also check out the extended uh, that's in the description box below for you down there, along with everything else you need to know about this reading, including uh, how to contact me for personal, okay? So, Cancer, I was channeling into your energy before I turned the ca uh, camera on. I'm getting like there's just no one like you, okay? That's what I'm hearing. Um, yeah, I feel like you have this sort of strength to you um, that helps you overcome things, and someone is noticing that about you, okay, Cancer? So let's see, Holy Spirit and Angels, what's the energy that we have for Cancer right now? Someone rising in Venus signs. All right, patience here. A lot of waiting here. I'm getting a lot of waiting. I'm hearing uh, something about waiting to speak upon something. Yeah, we have harmony here. And then we have heart chakra. Someone here is waiting to express how they feel about you, Cancer. I feel like they're on the edge of their seat. They just can't wait to do it. Okay, so we have foundation and achievements. Okay, so I feel like someone here wants to take something slow with you. Build a foundation slow. Something stable. This is soulmate energy. This person could have already expressed this to you, Cancer. What else, Spirit for Cancer? Yeah, the waiting game. They're gonna wait to express this to you if they haven't already, okay? Um, I'm getting this anxious vibe from them, but I'm also getting that they're trying to like build up strength or build up courage, that's why they're waiting. There could be some hidden feelings going on Okay, so someone's waiting to express their feelings to you, Cancer, okay? We have universe here. Patience and planning, yeah, and firm foundation. I feel like this is meant to be. I don't feel that like this is a karmic energy for you, Cancer. If there is karmic energy around you, it's people outside of this connection. I just heard marriage. So there's people outside of this marriage, probably maybe um, trying to infiltrate, infiltrate get in the way of things okay what else for cancer yeah sacrifice something is going to be sacrificed here for a firm foundation yeah spiritual union here and authority there's a masculine here doing what he has to do um saying what he has to say making the steps that he has to take to come towards you cancer now i i really feel like this person is already in your energy here we have temptation here with obstacles and challenges transformation here in the reverse. I feel like someone here is going to try to control this masculine, but right now I'm getting the energy that he cannot be controlled. Um, he wants who he wants is what I'm getting here. Let me get some energy from Soul's Journey for Cancer, please spirit. What's the energy for Cancer? Yeah, there's a spiritual union here that this masculine wants to go after. He's just trying to be patient about it not sure exactly what he's trying to be patient about i'm pretty sure that you get this vibe from this masculine that they do have feelings for you and they're right up in your energy yeah we have growth here someone here wants to grow with you i want to expand my consciousness and my awareness so i'm getting sagittarius energy with this person it's like they really want to learn okay you could have sagittarius somewhere in your chart or they could okay so we have doubts <sighs> I released my need to know all the answers. So I feel like this masculine is starting to um, understand that in order to be a masculine, they have to be able to take advice, take counsel. Okay. Um, they have to not be so doubtful when it comes to things because when they're doubtful, they will want to control it in the wrong way. They don't need to know all the answers by themselves. They're just going to jump into the situation. That's what that's what they're thinking right now. Um, but at the same time, they're waiting. So this is weird. So they're trying to be patient. Maybe it has a lot to do with money or a house or a firm foundation. Maybe it has to do with something tangible. Okay, let me get one card, please, for cancer. But their feelings for you, though, that's they're not being patient about their feelings. So you maybe have gotten a message already or something. Okay, yeah, we have guilt. All right, so there's a masculine here that feels guilty. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. So I get that this masculine was in this um, belief system or um, something like that that was hindering the growth of this relationship. 
now they're starting to realize this that you know you're their partner you're their match okay um spiritual union definitely i really heard marriage for a lot of you okay so let's see keep in mind i'm gonna extend this reading so i'm gonna um see what happens depending on how i feel about this reading i'm gonna extend it all right so cancer what's the energy for cancer right now i feel like they have to protect you cancer they feel like they have to protect you or they want to protect you okay what's the energy for cancer spirit holy spirit and angels what's the energy for cancer three of wands anticipating energy waiting for something to come in um they could be waiting for some sort of information to come in oh maybe a secret to come out or maybe some hidden knowledge but with uh the high priestess here i'm also getting that they're trying to it's like their intuition is nudging them to be patient, okay? We also have the magician here. They're like manifesting you in blindly though. All right, so this is what I'm getting. This person here, um, they saw what they were doing to the connection in the past. And that's what they want to fix. That's what, that's what they want to smooth over. What else for cancer? Yeah, the hermit. It's like they're going deep within as they wait. Ace of Pentacles here with the full card. Yeah, they want something stable and committed with you. They see this as a blessed union. They see you as, as someone that can manifest a lot of things on your own as it is. Okay, so we have the Ten of Swords that came in the reverse here with the Knight of Pentacles in the struggle position. I feel like you've ended this, right? And I feel like it had a lot to do with money, stability, and things of that such. And this person didn't have it or their offer was just coming in too slow or something like that. Yeah, we have the star here. Um, they hope that they can, you know, avoid this ending, you know, we have the 10 of swords, everything is fine. So I feel like this person still has hope in this situation. Again, slow energy. They're coming in slow with the money or the stability or just finances. Okay. Clarify the star here, please for cancer. Oh, cards flipped over. Okay. So we have the eight of cups here. And the two of swords came out. So I feel like someone here is walking away from things that no longer serve them, of course. That's what I'm getting. But I'm also getting a vibe of... Thank you, spirit. Yeah, they're walking away from... A, a, yeah, they're walking away from people. Conflict, competition. They don't want to do that with you anymore. Okay? I feel like they're also um, walking away from people that they involved in a situation. So there could be multiple people that were involved in a situation that had a lot of opinions had a lot of judgments here, um, made this masculine not really want to focus on one thing, okay? It was competition, clearly, and they they walked away from it. They see something different now. They have the Two of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Lovers. They want the Queen of Swords. I feel like that's who you are. They choose the Queen of Swords here. You're the more logical uh, decision here. But the reason why you're coming off as the Queen of Swords Cancer is because, you know, you're not talking to them. Or you have your back towards them. Or you're very cold, but they still choose you. I'm getting Sagittarius again. Then we have the Two of Wands here. Represents someone at a distance from you. Someone who could be stuck in a... With, whenever the Two of Wands has been coming up lately, I've been getting the energy of someone being stuck between two worlds. Um, but standing in the here and now. Okay, so it's like they're being patient. They're they're embracing the here and now. It's like they're not rushing. They're not rushing because they know you're the one, pretty much. They're being very patient and they're doing a lot of planning. You could have your nose up to them right now, Cancer, not paying attention, but they choose you and you know that they choose you. You know who I'm talking about here. All right. Clarify the two of wands, please, for Cancer. Two of wands for Cancer. Yeah, the emperor. This emperor knows what he's doing. Could be Aries or Taurus you're dealing with. Doesn't have to be. Or a Gemini Virgo. Yeah. Okay, so I feel like this person is trying to manifest things. It's a heavy burden for them to do it, though. Because I feel like there's karma here. Yeah, they've been caught doing something. So I feel like they're trying to, like, sweep something under the rug. I will say that about this person. But I won't say that they're not a divine masculine. I see them having great intentions. I told you this wasn't a karmic reading. 
there could be someone here trying to sabotage things behind the scenes. Yeah, this, this emperor is making the calls here. He's calling the shots. I feel like he's putting people in their place. Clarify temperance, please, for cancer. Temperance for cancer. Yeah, look, the devil. The opposite of, of temperance. And then we have uh, judgment here. And the five of cups. And the ten of swords, three of pentacles. I feel like what's going on here is that there's a Capricorn in that mix. Or a Sagittarius Scorpio. Who could be, like, getting left. But there's been a judgment call made on this toxic energy here. I'm getting detox energy too. Like maybe this masculine has been detoxing lately. Or trying to detox. Trying to revive something within himself for this connection. Clarify the devil. Please for cancer. Why is this here for cancer? Also getting that they don't want a toxic relationship with you. I feel like if they have you know, came off as the person that wants a toxic relationship. They don't want that anymore. I feel like this person is blocking um, group projects. I feel like that's what's going on here. Uh, Cancer, I'm also getting that you're, you want to block this person because you feel like they come with a third party that wants to work with them too. And then we have strength here. Leo energy with the Ace of Wands. I feel like it's still going to work out here. The Six of Pentacles. I really do. I feel like they're going to take action to actually give to you, Cancer. Tell me more about the, th about the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, we have the Six of Pentacles here. So, okay. This is a group setting or a work setting here to where they are definitely giving to these people here, okay? But I feel like at the same time, it's still going to eventually work out. This person... Mm, I feel like this person didn't see something at first. Now they see it now. And I feel like they're just putting people in their places as we speak. Tell me about... Tell me about the Six of Pentacles, please, for Cancer. And then we'll move on. Yeah, the King of Wands and the Eight of Wands. They're going to communicate to you about giving to you because they can't let you go. They have a lot of feelings for you, okay? They see you as someone really beautiful. They want to work together with you, okay? So, possibly, one or two things could happen here. Um, Cancer, I feel like your person could either, you know, come with, not baggage, I'm not getting baggage. I'm not really getting baggage. I'm just getting that they're coming with some sort of, like, peace offering here. Nine of Cups, Page of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. Some sort of a second chance, wish fulfillment, you getting what you want. But there's someone here trying to deceive them, Okay. This person could be afraid to contact you or to say something about it or to come out and say something because they're stuck in something. So there's some spying going on. And I want to know if that's the third party. But someone here is like not really speaking well upon you. I, I feel like it doesn't really matter because all these cards trump the devil, all of them. I feel like it's not going to matter. Uh, clarify the Wheel of Fortune, then we'll move on. Wheel of Fortune, please, for Cancer. There's that moon again. And the Eight of Swords. Someone here is going to be stuck in karma. And depression. And lack of intuition. And trying to find insight here. While you are, you know, living the life. I feel like it's going to be illuminated that this person is going to become single from something. Someone would rather be single with something okay um let's get some energy from the yin yang oracle someone is afraid for something to not turn in their favor cancer so i feel like they're trying to man up and do what they have to do also i'm getting like they're afraid of losing you to a third party or this third party is afraid of losing them so put yourself where you belong in the story all right what's going on with cancer Someone's afraid of something, so we'll see what's going on. Yeah, so we have cold and detachment. That's why they're afraid. You're cold and detached. They want your forgiveness because you have a lot of self-worth and you release the situation to tap into your higher self. All right, what else, please, for cancer? Rebirth. Chiron, wounded, guarded. You're very guarded because 
either even though even though you're going through a rebirth here and I feel like you're happy and you're okay you're still guarded from this person because I feel like this person has done a lot yeah separation longing yeah distance you, I, I feel like there's some sort of distance that's happening here with uh with you and your person cancer I feel like that's someone here is changing though someone's changing with this distance that's happening it's like they're learning a lot I need one more for cancer one more for cancer please spirit all right so we got a few of them we have truth expression growth yeah and then we have renewal spark so this person has a good chance of coming back planting new seeds okay could be a pregnancy okay um they're going to express some sort of truth they know that them expressing this truth is what's going to trigger their growth within themselves they don't know how you are going to feel about that but we have renewal and spark here so it's like it has great potential here uh cancer all right guys so that was your reading um i'm going to extend this all right so follow me over to the extended i'll leave the link down below for others of you i'll see you next week thank you namaste bye